Okay. So what I want to tell to you. My name is Marek Lovesa and I'm PF director. Uh, first let me apologize. This evening won't be presented by a sexy TV celebrity. Also, my English might be not perfect, although people go to Oxford for English, not to Prague. Uh, the reason why I decided to present this ceremony is that I have a lot to explain tonight. And not only that. One, two, one! Stupid end. If someone clever once said, everybody has to understand. But the end want to tell what and who he wants to sell. Here comes the most injury. We might spend the happy end of the period. There is a place where the air wants to race, where the pride shows a smiley face. Everybody in the place says, Be up, be up, be up, be up, be up. Competition revolution! Be up, 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 be each of these is premium level. Double my gold, get a beat. I'm a tiny piece of greed. Get no problem for a swan. Simply with them as a rock. But I'm so high and I know. All these guys do the same thing as I know. There is a place where the air wants to race. Where the pride shows the smiling face. Gets to be serious. Thank you. Well, last year, when you organized PL for the first time, I kept answering the same question Why are you doing the same as everybody else? There are loads of similar competitions all over the world. So we've decided to do it differently. And I kept awaiting. The question, why are you doing it differently when everybody else is doing it in the normal way? Well, I didn't have to wait too long, right? But on the other hand, I also heard a lot of encouraging reactions. What persuaded me to take a different path was my meeting with Michael Conrad. All those who leave the beaten track are running a risk, of course. Our look at creativity requires more mental effort. Contestants must not only decide whether to participate or not, but they also have to think about the reason why they work is good. The new system of categories force them to do so. It isn't easy to find the time and will to get into a new brand competition, especially with the surrounding daily stress. I can imagine that it can have discouraged some potential contestants. We received 361 entries from almost 100 agencies in 33 countries of the world. Czech contestants have sent two-fifths of the entries. The ability of contestants to choose the right categories enabled us to see how well we managed to explain the competition system. The vast majority of competitors understood exactly what the competition is about. Some checked their decision by phone. Only a handful didn't ask for anything and answered their words incorrectly. This is quite encouraging, I think. And should we have more entries? Of course we should. And we do the best to have more entries. Uh, 
to acquire more agencies and to explain better and better what we are trying to do. We've decided to keep developing our competition system, which is based on a complex approach to creativity. Creativity is a universal approach. When it becomes enforced by marketers, creatives, media and strategic planners, event managers, producers, developers, engineers, trade marketers, as well as tradesmen and even CEOs, what Donald Gutt said this morning is true. Creativity works. This is also why we want the jury and the speakers of PF to be composed of creative marketers. The point of view and experience of advertisers is incredibly precious. If they didn't dare to try and experience new solutions and without correct judgment, most competition works would be mere academic exercises. Well, we set out for a daring voyage. We might be swept away by a storm. We might be on our way to a new continent. Now is the time to thank those who got on board with us. Fantastic jury sitting right here. Speakers, partners, namely Economia Publishing House, Young and Rubicon Prague, Niederle, Starlight Production, Renault, Nespresso, Heineken, and many others, including enthusiastic individuals. So, this is what I want to say in the very beginning, and now we can start the show. Let's announce the result for the first category group, Creative Branding, Marketing, and Sales Support. It is a category with the least entries since it goes beyond the usual interest of the advertising agencies. This category is an opportunity for the specialists and for the marketing community that haven't discovered BF yet. I'd like to ask Daryl Fielding, Vice President of Marketing Craft Foods Europe, member of the jury, for a short assessment of this category. Daryl, please. Spotlight. Oh, yeah. Sound. Speak, try to speak. Try, ah, there we go. That's much better. Thank you. Um, this was a category, I think, as, as you said, Marek, with the least entries. Um, obviously, therefore, the, least, uh, the greatest potential to grow. I think we need to, to encourage clients and other types of agencies to enter into this category. We um, moved some of the award winners from other categories to celebrate what we expected in this category and I think when you see the winners you'll understand more about what, what's expected in this kind of category. Overall um, I think the, the category was not one of the, the greatest in terms of creativity which is why the jury decided to move some entries to exemplify what we mean by best in class in this area. Thank you, thank you very much. And so let's go to the category please. Play the theme. Yes, there are two categories within this category group. The first one is creative branding and there is no single award. So let's move to the creative design. The first one is bronze and goes to Cooper Scooper to show pony advertising. Let's have a look. Yes, this is it. I think you can recognize, recognize what it is, in fact. And uh, the bronze PF will be sent to Australia because we do not have the guys here. But let's go to another one, which is a silver, and this is Kiko and the Hand by Grey Amsterdam from Netherlands. And we should have the guys here, so please welcome on stage.
Black Mountain. Congratulations. Congratulations for your first day of high tech, right? It's not nothing like that. And I think we will see you at least once again. Yes. Creative sales and sales support. There is one award given, which goes to and to everyone says for something from DDB Budapest. Go. Budapest is near and someone should attend us, but it looks like rain has changed everything. So it's <laughs> gonna be sent to Budapest. Uh, so that's it for the first bundle of categories. And we can now turn to the category design, where the jury judged, among others, criteria, the ability of the design to express the brand attributes. I please band the theme. Here we are, and now I would like to ask another member of the jury, which is uh, Susan Credel, Chief Creative Officer of Leo Bernin to USA, of uh, this short introduction, please. Yes. Uh, so art of delivery, this is um, a very interesting category. I know in the States, uh, when media left the agency, it caused quite a controversy because we were settled on separating the creative idea from the, the medium. And I think anybody involved with creativity and branding and advertising communication understands that part of the creativity of what we do is how we deliver the message. And I think that Piaf is taking an interesting lens towards the art of delivery, and we're not hearing things like radio, television, film, new media, emerging media, but to actually look at it in a different way. And one of the things that I loved about this category was creative use of a traditional um, medium. And we were trying to figure out what is a traditional medium anymore, and I think it's a medium any of us know about. And I think what qualifies the difference in another part of this category is uh, the creation of a new media. Um, and that, to me, is what is emerging. So I love the lens that Piaf is putting on the media question or the medium question and celebrating work that really thinks about it in a different way. So hopefully you'll enjoy the winners. Thank you. Well, actually, this was the, and the, the group of categories uh, with the biggest number of the entries, which is 148, and now we're going to announce the bronze ones. The first bronze goes to service plant Germany, the BMW light wall reflection. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's kind of... Outdoor thing, but we try to avoid these categories. And uh, it will be sent to Germany because the guys couldn't couldn't attend. The next bronze goes to Shamo Amno Amikai Young and Ruby Camera Interactive Tel Aviv for reality billboard. Let's see what's going on. Yellow Pages is proud to present. From a listing service to a reality billboard. Starring the winner of 
Survivor versus the winner of Big Brother. The two reality stars inside a giant billboard. Who will be the ultimate reality winner? Fifteen challenges by Yellow Pages. involving Yellow Pages classified businesses to a little self-humor with the old and heavy Yellow Pages books. Live broadcast to three online channels. Mako, Channel 2 online website. Walla, Israel's number one website. And Yellow Pages mini site. Everyone can participate and vote using Yellow Pages digital interfaces only. On the mini site, through live banner broadcasts, or using Yellow Pages special augmented reality app. And the results, 111,001 votes, 174,038 unique visitors. Facebook fans more than doubled. Tons of PR. All-time record results for Yellow Pages and one ultimate reality winner, Eli Razadeh from the Big Brother reality show. Reality Billboard was presented last October at the Mitcom Festival and was purchased by Endemol, the leading entertainment company in the world for international distribution. From a listing service to a content machine, Yellow Pages. Now I ask the representative of the Czech Younger Rubicam to take over the prize. And we're going to the next bronze, which goes to the country which is near from here, which goes to Slovakia. What's really advertising for the getting ready for the spotlight living billboards? Let's have a look. to do everything it takes to promote their festival. In the campaign for the theater festival that was carried out in the style of the spotlights, we decided to make use of their potential, courage and young spirits for a traditional connection of the theater and advertisement. We created a living big board, one of the most curious places ever to play the theater. The first big board theater was placed in the center of Bratislava, close to the most crowded Bratislava bars. The performance in the spotlights amused not only courageous students of acting, but first and foremost their audience and accidental passers-by who really enjoyed the theater taking place in such a big advertising vehicle. Thanks to this unusual invitation to the festival, the theater halls were crowded with people during the whole festival and the attendance was increased by 20% when compared with the last one. Okay. And I'd like to welcome Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. 
and congratulations. Actually, so the next bronze goes to Ogilvy and Mather, Hungary and Ukraine for real estate. Yes. And let's have a look what it is. In 2008, the global recession hit Hungary. Property prices plummeted and the real estate market ground to a halt. Many people lost a lot of money, yet the true cost was far greater. In 2010, there were 1.2 million Hungarians either completely homeless or living in conditions unfit for human habitation. As the local economy and subsequently the housing market began to pick up, we chose to remind those fortunate enough to be looking to upgrade their living conditions of the lingering cost of the housing crisis. We placed a number of properties on the largest real estate sites in the country, advertising some of the real estate that so many Hungarians still call home. When people search for flats and houses, as for park benches, squats and slums appeared amongst their results. Spacious, open-plan apartment, ideal for nature lovers. Heating, blankets and newspapers. Furnishing, two mattresses. Unique one-bedroom lodgings, easy access to city centre. Condition, rustic. Parking, plentiful. 1.2 square metre open-air bench located in District 8. Shared bathroom, bushes and kitchen nearby trash can. 24-hour exposure and cold. Not chosen by but inflicted upon 1.2 million Hungarians. While viewing the ads, they could choose to share them with their friends on Facebook or donate directly to Habitat, which with the help of volunteers builds new houses and helps to cut the cycle of poverty. The classified ads received over 4 million views from almost half a million unique users, generating a huge amount of free media and widespread online coverage. Fans of our Facebook page tripled from a previously all foreign base, the new likes coming almost entirely from Hungarian profiles. Visitors spent twice as long on the homepage and donations to the charity increased. For zero budget in both production and media, we brought the plight of 1.2 million Hungarians to half a million Hungarian house hunters. I'd like to ask Rokosante to come up the stage. Yeah, how do you like the band, by the way? Yeah? Is it a bit difficult to make it, to put it together, but I think it's much better than to just to switch the bottom. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the band. So that was uh, the bronze for Hungary and Ukraine. And now we have the last bronze in the category Creative Use of Traditional Media, which goes to Service Plan Germany for out, uh, audio annual report. Who other than Bang & Olufsen, the brand for unique design and excellent sound quality, can turn even an annual report into an exceptional audio experience? Charts and financial statements turn into spectacular harmonies, areas, overtures, and chorals. Interpreted by some of Germany's most renowned opera singers. The brand claim of perfect sound is now experienced through the annual report. Thank you. 
special customers and stockholders. sent to Germany because uh, the service plan couldn't come. The same thing for the next one, for the next, uh, which is silver already, the silver medal in the category creative use of traditional media, media goes to Grabarts and Partner for Safe for Work Microsoft. Volkswagen features a number of assistance systems to make driving easier. One of them, Side Assist. Side Assist monitors the area behind your car with laterally separated radar sensors in the rear bumper. Its transceiver control units pick up reflections from objects within range, check whether a situation is critical, and provide a warning if an approaching vehicle enters the zone monitored by the system. Pretty complicated. We should develop an idea that explains what Side Assist does in a simpler way, and lets people experience it. Our solution, an online tool. Side Assist Office. The assistance system scans the area behind your back with your webcam to make sure you can surf, chat, or play games at work without unexpected interruptions. And here's how to activate Side Assist Office. Go to sideassistoffice.com. Click on Activate. Open the website you want to browse in a separate window. If your bus suddenly shows up behind you, a business chart appears on the screen to impress him. And it's a different chart every time. <laughs> and what's more, Side Assist Office is not only limited to office use. It can be used in jury duty too. Try it out and see. SideAssistOffice.com down okay you, you have it at okay, least so fine and so that's we can go a step further which is another server to the same company Grabats and Partner to the same country Germany and it is safe for work banner this is again the the creative use of traditional media the, the theme is the same but the media is different it's a banner but creatively used. A Volkswagen features a number of assistance systems to make driving easy. Click on Activate. Surf, chat or play games without unexpected interruptions. If your bus suddenly shows up behind you, a business chart appears on the screen to impress them. And it's a different chart every time. The result? A little less stress in the office. Right, everybody back to work. To explain the difference, I should add that uh, uh, thanks to cooperation with, uh, I think, a couple of tens very popular sites, they have this banner almost everywhere where the guys are looking during their uh, during the work days, you know. So, that was the second set for work, and we have another one from Germany, we have another one silver for Grabarts and Partner, but the different topic, <coughs> self-translating email.
use of traditional media. And the silver goes to Loduca Brazil for Vox Ad. Guys. <laughs> Okay, so that was the creative use of traditional media and we move to the other category which is creating the media. Now we have a couple bronzes again and the first one goes to Shamo Amon Amichai, Young and Ruby Camilla Active Tel Aviv for Women for Sale. Here they are. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to say mixed, mixed feelings. Mixed. Some people think that it's an excellent idea and some people think it's horrifying. But the idea is, I mean, around two million people yeah. are involved in human trafficking every year. It's not what one usually sees in store windows, but in the shopping center in Tel Aviv, women tagged with price tickets are being offered for sale. It's part of a protest to highlight the problem of human trafficking for the sex industry. They stand and sit silently in the window display of a crowded Israeli mall. But it's not the clothes that are advertised for sale here, it's the women themselves. seeing the website here, uh, it directs people to the website and what, what, what happens, what happens you is the you go onto the website and it says women to go, it's very deceiving and you think well this is wonderful, I can have a woman to go, so, and the idea is to no, draw attention. So they're actually yes. trying to trick people, or fool people, there are some out there who would actually see those women and think they could actually buy one? I would say yes. Shoppers Organizers of the Women to Go campaign hope to gain support for a law that would ban the purchase of sexual services in Israel. Run, run away. No sense of time. I'd like you to stay. Want to keep the proposed law is being studied by the government, but it could be some time before such a change is enacted. Until then, activists have pledged to keep the issue in the public eye in any way they can. goes to Bangalore 25 from Spain for the campaign how to get an ad to be seen by a million people at 30 meters under the sea. Let's have a look. Mm. <laughs> the briefing. Fox Crime, channel specialized 
Washington Mighty Series wanted a campaign focused on the summer holidays. They needed impact and awareness. So once more, we had to find something to be new. The solution. We took advantage of the lack of news during the holidays so that the media itself would do the advertising for us. We just had to use our imagination and do what we'd like most. Internet. And after throwing a few steps into the scene, we just had to wait for the first reactions to come. This one goes to Slovakia again for Triat Advertising, Google Analytics as our media. Let's have a look. Imagine you are using a hammer in your work every day. One day you come to work and right on that hammer you see a personalized message about a better hammer that will help you to get more work done. Wouldn't it be great to use the tool people work with as your media? This is exactly what we have done. The Brief. We were asked to prepare the launch of Analytics Escape, the new online product that helps people to get better website analytics. The Challenge. No media budget very specific product for a very specific dark group, the web analytics people. The solution, we hit directly into the heart of the most used website analytics tools, Google Analytics. Google Analytics is the main tool every web analytic person uses every day. This is the tool where they found all the numbers and stats. And in one of the most important reports, they found our personalized message. But how? There is no place for advertising in Google Analytics. How we did it? Step 1. We selected thousands of the most popular <coughs> Slovak eShops and blogs. Step 2. We created special personalized links linking to them, like this one. Step 3. Then we let our robot visit all the links. Next day, the magic happened. Thanks to our special links, the analytics people looking at the usual reports in Google Analytics. Slovakia have a lot of fans here. <laughs> they moved from the ice hockey championship to come. Um, well, that was Google Analytics, and, and the next one is another bronze, which goes to Czech Republic, finally, to Ligas Delaney Praha SRO for frozen artwork. Here we are.
Yes. Uh, in the category creating the media, the next bronze goes to DDD Budapest, Hungary, for everyone saves for something. I think we have seen it, right, already? Yeah. Okay, and then because the guys from Budapest didn't arrive, we can go forward. Did you? Sure. You want to see? Let's see. Skip this, sorry, Paul. <laughs> Did you understand the chat? No. Sorry for that, but uh, everything will be available on our website, so if you want to check these, they are, will be available in a few days. Uh, so that was Hungarians. And now the silver in the category creating the media goes to Israel again, Shamo Amno Amichai, Younger Rubicam Interactive Tel Aviv, for Get Tested Project. December 1st, 2010, our radio campaign had a core idea. We invited top anchors from all radio stations in the country to take HIV tests live during their broadcasts and get the results live in 30 minutes. It all began with a radio spot, a dramatic announcement that opened every broadcast hour. Hello to all our listeners. Our broadcast will resume shortly. Today, World AIDS Day, we join the Get Tested Project. Our anchors and anchors from all radio stations in Israel are now taking HIV tests. The tests are done at the station. But instead of just telling a story, the Get Tested campaign was an open idea platform, an invitation and the inspiration for radio stations and anchors to be creative and make the campaign their own. Some anchors opened their shows talking about the importance of getting tested while others actually agreed to take the test live. More than 30 top anchors used the Get Tested platform and developed it into an hour-long drama. It began with the live HIV tests, and as the minutes ticked by, the tension mounted as the hosts waited for the live results at the end of their shows. They filled the entire hour with items, interviews, and personal musical selections. The story was building itself bigger and bigger by the hour. Some stations even invited listeners to come by to the studios to have HIV tests. By noon, the Get Tested project had already become a radio event. It was so strong that TV and internet channels sent crews to the stations and broadcast the tests live on their breaking news reports. The personal example given by more than 30 top radio anchors, recognized opinion leaders, was dramatic. December 2010 resulted in the highest HIV test rates in the history of the AIDS task force. The number more than doubled compared to 2009. All the anchors that took the test tested negative for HIV. The Get Tested project wasn't a closed radio spot campaign. It was an open idea platform. A real collaboration between advertising, media, content, and PR for one goal and one message. Get tested. But anyway, uh, now we move to the category media engagement. Uh, I hope you had a chance to look at our category system and, and to recognize that media engagement category is based on the, uh, the fact that media engages for 
for uh, the idea themselves and they provide their uh, editorial content. So the bronze goes to Germany to service plan for a very strange thing, the cannibal restaurant. Worldwide, millions of people die of starvation, while vast amounts of crops and water are wasted on mass livestock. For the Vegetarian Foundation Germany, this means every piece of meat consists of human life. So we open a restaurant in Berlin. Welcome to Fimé. Fimé serves human meat in the tradition of a Brazilian cannibal tribe. That's why waiters, kitchen help, and an open-minded surgeon are needed. And most importantly, human meat. So Fumé is looking for flesh donors. Built, Guardian, El País, CNN, La República, Spiegel. More than 700 articles in over 60 countries report about the human meat restaurant in Berlin. Hundreds of thousands discuss. And after a few hours, the whole world is talking about Fumé. Cannibal restaurant in Germany? Are you guys focused on human flesh? One day later, the opening is fully booked. 63 people want to donate their flesh. After only five days, the interest was so huge, we announced a press conference. We are very glad about the intention and cost of our campaign. With a budget of 5,000 euros, we achieved 5 millions in media value. The click rate on Vibo.de went up fivefold. And most importantly, worldwide millions of people discussed the Vegetarian Foundation's message intensely. Meat eats people. Fume. It's going to be sent to Germany, while the next bronze in media engagement goes to Shamo Amno Amichai for Reality Billboard. We have seen already the video on Reality Billboard, so we shouldn't play it once again, but I would like to give the award to Jaime to send it to Israel. By the way, uh, Gideon Amichai should attend this evening, but he had to leave for New York this, this morning and uh, I think you will hear about him very soon because he left there for a very pleasant and specific reason. You'll see. And uh, so that was the bronze and now we go to silver in the media engagement category and this one goes to Finland. Hassan and Partners, Quitter.fi. Let's see. There are 400,000 kids in Finland who are at risk of starting a smoking habit. The Cancer Society of Finland wants to reach them with an anti-smoking message that works. Smoking is popular among teenagers, as it offers instant gratification and it is considered cool. This is where anti-smoking campaigns fall short. We decided to reward the kids for engaging in anti-smoking messages. So we created Quitter, a social media community for kids aged 12 to 19. In Quitter, teenagers answer one quiz question each day about smoking. As a reward, they earn credits. The answer to the question provides them with information about smoking. The quiz questions are presented by celebrities. Even if the kids know the answers or not, they are still rewarded with credits, and they can return the next day to earn more credits. The credits are valid currency at the Quitter online store, where users can choose cool stuff to buy with their credits. When they have enough credits, the product they buy is delivered to their home, without any cost to the teenager. The kids can also upload pictures of the stuff they get from Quitter to their personal social media profiles, thus making their friends aware of Quitter, and of the fact that not smoking can be rewarding. The anti-smoking debate was extremely intense and popular in the chat room of Quitter, with over 100,000 comments made by the users. The social media community presence was supported by advertising in Facebook and Spotify, where thousands of new users were directed to Quitter. In 
just the first four months, Krita was visited over 2 million times. Krita has had 240,000 unique visitors. That is over half of the Finnish teenage population. The average time... ...your son was sold to, to Finland. And uh, now we're going to the gold. The gold goes, surprisingly, to Israel. Shama Ano Amichai for the Get Dusted project, and we've seen the video already, but I think we should. And now I'm going to, uh, to the category Creative Use of Technology, so starting with the bronze. The bronze goes to BMW Flash Projection by Service Plan Germany. Is this? What do we see when we look straight at the sun and then close our eyes? That's right, a bright moving disc. It lasts several seconds. Every child knows this after image effect. We use the after image effect for a completely new brand experience for the first advertising commercial that doesn't use a directly visible logo, but by doing so, generates a more intensive connection to the target group. We developed a cinema ad for BMW motorcycles that turns spectators into astonished fans. It does this by using an after image of the brand to literally get inside people's heads. Here's how it worked. While the cinema ad was playing, we illuminated the BMW logo with a harmless photo flash onto the audience's eyes. The audience at first only perceives a bright flash during the ad. However, when they were asked to close their eyes at the end of the ad, they were surprised to see the BMW logo as an after image. Here is the original ad. People ask me why I race. Why I take a turn at 200. Why do I go full power? I always give them the same answer. I am living my dream. What dream? They ask. Just close your eyes, I say. Deep into yourself. Maybe it's your dream too. It's in you. Close your eyes and you will see it. Close them now. Toller Werbespot von einem Rennfahrer und am Ende. Um, nachdem er sagt, uh, close your eyes, war wirklich toll. Ich habe BMW gelesen. Habe ich sehr beeindruckt. Also da kam ja irgendwie der Blitz und so, dann habe ich die Augen zugemacht und im Endeffekt, das war, erst waren so scharfe Konturen und dann ist es so richtig irgendwie uh, so in, ins lila, grüne irgendwie so weggelaufen. Also war stark und cool. Next creative use of technology is bronze goes to Brazil. Loduca with street art view. <coughs> Google Maps with Street View brought the streets to the web. Red Bull took a step forward and used Google Street View to showcase street art on the web. Now, not only can people look up addresses, but also artworks. Red Bull presents Street Art View. An interactive gallery in which the curator is anyone who tags their favorite street artist on the map. More curators, more artworks. It's using the power of crowdsourcing to build the world's largest street art collection. In the first month, the website gathered 
300,000 visits with an average of two minutes of time on site. 99% of positive tweets among the total of 5,000. 18,000 people shared the site with their Facebook contacts. And more importantly, 4,000 artworks were tagged on the map. Red Bull Street Art View, building the world's largest street art collection. Let's play. And the next one is also bronze, and it also goes to Israel, but it goes to Eidologic Publicis, the first ever multi-tagging picture. Orange Rock Corps was a project encouraging four hours of volunteering per participant in exchange for a ticket to Rihanna's concert. To celebrate Rihanna's concert, we wanted to create an exciting and interactive moment. Our goal was met with our multi-tagging application, the first of its kind in the world, that overrides the 50 tags per photo limitation on Facebook. A moment before the concert began, we photographed the crowd in gigapixel quality and captured everyone that attended the concert. After the concert, we invited the entire crowd to find and tag themselves and their friends in the picture. Their name tag remained on the picture and the part of the picture they tagged appeared also on their wall. The results were incredible. More than 4,500 fans representing a third of the crowd tagged themselves and became a part of history in the first multi-tagging picture on Facebook. representative of this agency just jumped into the plane and came to Prague to get the prize, which is... Yes, yes, that's exactly what I meant. Uh, now we go to the another bronze, the last bronze in the category Creative Use of Technologies, which goes to Germany, service plan, Lego Science.
surprise from Hunger and Ukraine. I'll give a mother Hunger and Ukraine. Let's have a look at surprise. You have no idea how it feels to be a fisherman. It's not lonely because you have your mates with you. It's not boring because on a ship there's always something to do. And it's never ever frustrating when you hold the freshest fish in the world in your hands. Only sometimes, once in a while, I wonder... Is there something bigger in life waiting for me? Great one. The fisherman goes to Germany. And uh, the mother silver in this category, the brilliant execution, goes to the Netherlands to Wieden Kennedy Amsterdam for the entrance. for the after party and now we go to the third uh, group of categories this group called idea strong brilliant and working and I'd like to uh, ask some dream working global communication had Heineken to be introduced to introduce this category some dream thank you um... So in this last category, uh, what we were looking for as a jury was um, looking for creative ideas that would provide emotional involvement. 
spontaneous reactions from uh, the target group and also capable of raising interest of target groups in the very short period of time. So overall, what we were stricken by was the best creativity has been seen by ideas that have had a remarkable knowledge of their audience and had, um, were very insightful, uh, whether it was on deep human truth or on daily lives of their consumer. The most engaging stories uh, actually were felt that they were telling uh, dramas in a very new and different way and unexpected forms that were, ex that were going to cut through uh, their target audience. And we felt very encouraged by what we've seen um, in the last few days. And um, we really hope that in the festival in the future we're going to see more of those briefs uh, that are really, really have strong insights and can then unleash creativity and uh, use best possible media to deliver that message. Thank you. Thank you, Sandrine. <laughs> when the jury worked hard, they have to look at uh, 83 entries, and uh, this is their choice. Let's start with the bronze. Well, the bronze goes to Grabatz and Partner, Germany, for the fishermen just we have seen just a few seconds ago. So we can go to the next one, which is a passion, my favorite one, I would say, from uh, Ogilvan Made Hungary and Ukraine. Let's have a look. Is go, it goes, uh, it is silver by the way, it is silver, and we have seen it as well from Israel, Shamo, Amnon, Amichai, Get Tested Project, the HIV one. So we've seen it, and we can go to another silver, which is Kiko and the Hand for uh, Grey Amsterdam, from Netherlands of course, in the category Storytelling. So, do we have it? I think we, we have seen it already, right? Yep, yep. Yes, so we can just give the award. So. In the category storytelling, which goes to Portugal, to the agency Eccentric for the digital story of the nativity.
course of roles in the storytelling category that will be sent to Portugal. And we go to the flash impact category, the abbreviation. Uh, the bronze goes to Young and Trubicam Brands, Czech Republic, for a museum of communism escaping through law, river and fence. Let's have to see the pictures. Another bronze for flash impact uh, category goes to Grabarts and Partner Germany for paint buckets, scaffolding and rake. Let's look at the pictures. There are lots of bronzes in this category. The next one goes to Brazil, Loduca, chalkboard. Let's have a look what